Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to Man Cave Meals. Today, I've got a little product uh, demo maybe, I want to call it, or a comparison. We're going to have a look at the Man Kitchen Pepper Cannon and do a little bit of comparison between it and the hex clad uh, pepper mill. So let's get started. Uh, when this uh, man kitchen pepper cannon came onto the market, I was fascinated by this for one main reason. And the reason that caught my attention most of all was the volume of pepper you get out of this thing each time you turn the handle. It turns out a lot more pepper per turn than an average pepper mill does. And the other thing that that caught me being the kind of person I am and the kind of equipment I like. This is made out of aircraft grade aluminum. It's it's a very nicely machined pepper mill and it's very well made. And the the hang up on this is that it retails for two hundred dollars. It's it's not an inexpensive item. It's one of these items that I kind of qualify in my man cave as a man cave mills really right stuff item it's uh it's for that cook that's already got everything <laughs> this is this is something that nobody's going to complain about having it's a great gift item uh but it's pricey it is it's two hundred dollars you may find it on sale occasionally i've never seen this go more than 20 percent off so that works down to what one 159 uh is the cheapest I've ever seen this. And as of the time I'm making this video, it's currently on sale on Amazon for $159 on a Black Friday deal. So I've, I've had this for a while now and I've really enjoyed using it. And most recently, uh, Hexclad has come out with their version. Uh, this is called the Hex Mill. It is a, another aircraft grade aluminum, high volume, high turn pepper mill that uh, is once again what I would call in that man cave meals really right stuff category. The difference is primarily the difference is is this guy is less expensive. This guy I think lists it, it's got a manufacturer uh, suggested real retail price of two, of one ninety nine, but I have never seen this guy selling for more than one twenty nine. And currently, as of the time I'm making this video. It's a it's one oh three ninety nine on Amazon. These are both on sale. Uh, the hex can the hex mill is a little larger than the pepper mill. They're basically the same diameter. The the hex mill is just a little larger. The these are both fully loaded with pepper. I'll talk about that br briefly. The pepper cannon from Man Kitchen holds right at two i think i measured two and one eighth ounce of pepper and i'll put these pictures up on screen is how much this one holds when it's fully loaded and this one holds two and a half ounces of of peppercorns fully loaded so that picture will kind of show you what i deem to be fully loaded in both of these so this one has a little higher capacity uh this the the hex mill also obviously weighs more with both of these fully loaded the pepper mill or the pepper cannon weighed in at one pound four and three quarters ounces just shy of one pound five ounces and this guy weighed in at one pound 14 ounces so it's uh you know nine ounces it's a little over a half a pound heavier for this guy so there's a weight difference there uh these guys both i cannot really tell any difference in the the volume of pepper you get per crank I'm, I'm i've set them both at the courses setting cranked it i've not bothered to go to the trouble of weighing it i just kind of visually eyeballed it and i'm going to show you a couple of pictures here based on the coarseness settings uh the the adjustment mechanism on these look the same i'm going to show you that picture here there's, they're really the same design, but the pepper cannon, the man kitchen pepper cannon 
has about, I think I counted 39 uh, detent positions as you twist that dial. Uh, there's 39 different positions for coarseness. Uh, the, the hex mill only has nine. So if you need finer control than nine different levels of coarseness on your pepper, then the, the man kitchen pepper can is your guy. The thing I've noticed about the pepper can, and I'm going to show you first here, I set both of these up for the finest grind. And these are also the same number of turns. I got a little bit less pepper out of the pepper cannon here, but I had to back it off to about the third from the tightest setting to get any pepper out of it at all. It basically closes up completely when it's down as tight as it'll go on the fine side. And I did another test here with them in the middle. I put the the man kitchen pepper cannon on about 15, 15 clicks away from one edge. And I put the hex mill at either four or five. I don't remember, but I put it kind of right in the middle of one to nine. So, and turn them the same number of turns and you can see how much pepper you get. And you can see that those are basically the same consistency. There's very little uh, consistency difference at that setting on the two mills. They're both really running the same. And on this third picture, I've set them both at the coarsest setting and turned them the same number of times. And you can see that that's how much pepper. I don't remember how many times I turned it. I'm wanting to say I turned it four times and uh, it just, I didn't like it. I didn't weigh it, but it just gives you an idea of, of how much pepper you get from each uh, turn here. So it really does a fantastic job. I have been using the, the Man Kitchen Pepper Cannon for quite a while now. I've, I've got no complaints with this guy, none whatsoever. What made me decide to buy this one is I, I really wanted to be able to compare the two and uh, tell you what I thought about the differences and whether I like one better than the other. And for basic functionality, they're, they're the same. I, I don't see that one works any better than the other, but I have quickly determined that I like the hex clad better than the pepper cannon. So let me talk about why, because there's there's only one real reason why I like this pepper mill better than that one, and it's all about the shape. This guy, I, I just feel I've, I've got a better grip on it with that hexagonal shape. It's It feels better when I'm turning it than when I'm on this uh, this round one, this this round one's got, you know, it's got gaps in it that give you grip, and I don't ever really have a problem with my hands slipping on that. But this one just feels more solid, and maybe it's because it's heavier. But uh, I just don't know. It is heavier, and it's just easier for me to turn. It feels better turning that uh, turning that grinder in my hand than the smaller uh, pepper cannon. So, should the question is, is, should you buy one of these? Well, if it's something you think you would like for the same reasons that I like it, then you absolutely should buy one. Uh, is it a necessity? No, it's not. There's plenty of uh, cheap pepper grinders out there. If you, if you find yourself grinding a lot of pepper and want, like if you needed to grind a quarter or a half a cup, a freshly ground black pepper for some reason you would really love this uh, a lot of people have said John well you can get a cheap conical burr coffee grinder to do that for you and I'm aware of that and I have a conical burr coffee grinder that I use a lot of times when I want to grind a higher volume of black peppercorns but the problem I have with mine is the uh, the coarseness control of a coffee grinder is nowhere near the coarseness control I have here. The coarsest setting on that coffee grinder is a finer grind than that mid-range grind I showed you on these uh, on these pepper mills. The 
coffee's never meant to be ground as coarsely as you would grind black pepper. <laughs> there's just not a comparison there. It's not a good tool. And maybe there's a maybe there's a grinder out there that would work for me for that kind of volume. I'm just not aware of it or know where to find it. So if you know where I can find that kind of grinder, I like a coffee grinder to grind pepper with. That's I'd love to know about it. So now that I've got a new pepper mill that I like, when I originally reviewed the Man Kitchen Pepper Cannon, uh, I made some comments about that. You can grind other spices in that as well. I have used it for grinding coriander and cumin. And uh, what I might do is repurpose my Man Kitchen Pepper Cannon for coriander. Uh, because when I use coriander and cumin, I like to grind those fresh. And I'm never grinding a big volume of either one of those. It's rarely would I ever do anything where I would need more than a teaspoon or two or two of either one of those ingredients. I'm not going to get rid of the pepper cannon. It's uh, too nice of a tool. Now, so I've, just, I've told you, you know, that I like the hex clad better. Both of these companies have matching salt mills. And both, I don't know what Hexclad says, but the pepper mill, the pepper cannon man kitchen, they say do not put salt in the pepper mill. So it's apparently a different a grinder setup. But uh, if you want matching uh, salt mills, they're available. They're, they're a different color. They're a lighter, they're a silverish gray color. And uh, so they're not they're not black. The pepper mills for, or the salt mills for both of these companies are not black. But anyway, I just wanted to come in here briefly, tell you what I thought about these and give you a look, give you some reason. And uh, in the video description, I will put my Amazon affiliate links for these. Uh, if you want to if you want to have a look at them. And like I said, currently they're on sale. If you're interested in either one of these now might be a good time. Uh, I don't know how frequently they go on sale. I know the pepper cannon doesn't go on sale that frequently, but uh, the hex the hex mill is one twenty nine uh, normally when it's not on sale, so it's still a good deal. So, guys, if you have one of these things, let me know what you think. Leave me a comment and tell me what you think about it. If you're thinking about buying one and have any questions specifically about one or the other of these. Let me know in the comments, and I'll do the best I can to answer that quickly. So, guys, until next time, this is John Setzler with Man Cave Meals.